I am so excited to share the recipe of this decadent strawberry cake that I made in 30 minutes. Just follow four simple steps. Step one is to make a soft sponge cake in the microwave in five minutes. Step two is to make strawberry jam and slather it on the cake. Step three is to cover the cake with fresh strawberries. And step four, top it with lots and lots of whipped cream. And done! So what are you waiting for? Let's make this treat together. All right, let's start with step one to make a soft vanilla sponge cake in the microwave. Let's start by making a quick buttermilk. To one cup or 240 ml of milk, add one tablespoon of 15 ml of vinegar. Give it a good mix and set that aside. Next, to one and a half cups or 180 grams of all-purpose flour, add one and a half teaspoons or six grams of baking powder. Mix and set that aside as well. Next, in a large bowl, take half a cup or 125 ml of any neutral cooking oil, half a cup or 100 grams of sugar, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, half a teaspoon of salt, and give that a good mix. Our milk should have curdled by now. If your milk was lukewarm, it should have curdled better, so use that instead of cold milk. Now pour the buttermilk right inside the bowl and add half a teaspoon or three grams of baking soda. Whisk this rapidly so you get a nice frothy mixture with lots of air bubbles. Next, we are going to sift in our dry ingredients. Next, we are going to gently fold in the dry ingredients into the wet ingredients using a spatula. Use the cut and fold method. Don't over mix, that's going to make your cake dense. Lastly, do a quick whisk to break up any clumps and you end up with this smooth batter. Pour this into a microwave safe dish. I'm using an 11 by 6 inch Pyrex dish. You don't have to line with the parchment paper because the cake is going to be made in the dish. I don't know why I did it. It's just out of habit, I guess. Quickly swirl around the chopstick to get rid of any air bubbles and into the microwave on high. Okay, one important point is you have to use your normal microwave settings, not the convection oven mode. After two and a half minutes, you still see that dent in the middle of the cake. After four and a half minutes, a small dent. And after five minutes, all done. It's not wet anymore and it's flat and this cake is so soft and spongy. See all these air bubbles on the side? That means it's a very airy, spongy cake. Very, very airy. <laughs> All right, let the cake cool down and let's go to step two, making strawberry jam. This is also going to be really quick. I'm pouring in half a cup of fresh strawberry puree. To this, I'm adding one tablespoon of sugar or two taste. And just keep stirring this on medium heat till it thickens and forms strawberry jam. Isn't this nice? This recipe my friend shared recently and it turned out so good. So thank you, my friend. If you want a more detailed recipe for the strawberry jam, I'm sharing the link to her video in my description. Check that out. For our strawberry cake, we don't want to make the jam too thick because it's going to be hard to spread otherwise. Make sure to spread it while it's still slightly warm. It's easier that way. Now on to step number three, layering it with fresh strawberries. I'm using lots and lots of fresh strawberries. You can add sugar to it if you like and just cover the entire cake. Now the final step, whipped cream. Oh, always the best. I'm using one cup or 240 ml of chilled heavy whipping cream. To this, I added one fourth cup or 50 grams of sugar and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Whip until stiff peaks form. I usually whip for one to one and a half minutes on low speed and then I turn it over to medium high speed for the last 30 seconds. You can also substitute this with non-dairy whipping cream. But the taste of dairy whipping cream is much nicer. Now I'm going to just cover the entire strawberry layer with whipped cream. No fancy decoration here, just focusing on taste. <laughs> I have one last strawberry. Let me put that in to say, hello, my name is Strawberry Cake. Are you ready to dig in? <laughs> All right, let me cut out a proper piece to show you how beautiful and airy this sponge layer is. 
and how deliciously decadent this cake is <laughs> try this my friends you cannot believe how beautiful a cake can turn out in the microwave and it's eggless too if you enjoyed this recipe hit that like button that's going to make youtube share this with more people and more people are going to taste this deliciousness and you will help my channel grow <laughs> thank you all right then that's all for today if you're on any of these different social media sites do follow me and for written recipes you can always visit my blog all the links are in the description do you want more exciting recipes like this then subscribe to my channel it's free and i love posting recipes i do it every week and don't forget to hit that bell icon so you get notified as soon as i post my next recipe all right then see you next week bye bye